Sugar baby, sugar baby. nice whip, nice crib. Nice I crib. want this, I want I that. Want he this. give it to me. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to click the notification bell and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of my upcoming vlogs. Now, honey, today is just another day in my life. I'm recovering and my foot is doing a whole lot better. If you don't know what happened, definitely go check out my last vlog because honey, it was a movie. Now, my foot is doing a lot better from my accident. I'm almost ready to get me a new car and start doing things myself. My head has also healed up really nicely. I am going to keep on and stick with it so that way I can get that to go completely away. But it's really not that bad, you know? Like, it could have been worse, so I'm thankful that it wasn't. And, you know, it's only been like two weeks now. We've got a lot more healing to go, but it's doing very good. I am cleaning up. I had a whole bunch of orders from last week, the week before, and this this week. Like, I have been swamped with work. So I'm about to get these orders out here. I'm getting those out tomorrow in the morning. We got like, there's 16 over there. And then I have... 26 more orders to fulfill and it's just crazy it's hectic i'm at the point now where i'm going to hire an assistant my office looks really nice it's clean up in here y'all have already seen my office like multiple times and if you haven't i'll insert some footage that way you can go ahead and check it out honey because it looks really good i love it when my office is clean and then you know i got the dallas skyline right behind me it's like a picture it's just it's lovely all right y'all so i just woke up i'm about to get ready to go to the ups office my skin is popping honey don't play but i'm getting ready to go to the ups office well the usps office um i got all my orders finally all packaged up last night but i have my orders back here that's why i got my scooter you know, some bums try to make fun of me for getting my electric wheelchair, but I honestly love it. It comes in handy. I can carry my groceries on there. It came in handy for my foot. Excuse my counter. I put my chairs up there so I don't, so I have more room and I don't run into them. But, um, yeah, so you see, I bought this thing here, which is for my orders. And all I have to do is just like slide it into the post office. And then I have some of them in this bag here. I have like four boxes in there and in my little packages. And then I have more boxes right here. So this scooter really comes in handy. I'm about to throw on some shoes and call my Uber. I'm just gonna slide these on under like I know they're probably big to y'all, but they are. I'm a size 10. I'm gonna slide these babies on before I do that. I'll put on some lip gloss. I do not play about my lips. I don't play about nothing on my face. Sugar baby kisses on the lips. Smells good, tastes good, honey. Your man is going to suck your lips off. And after he's done, he's going to want to give you some. So, she ready kisses. I love these shoes. Oh, this is going to hurt, though. It always does. Putting on some shoes. All right, this is the main reason why I love my friends to come take me. Because my friends will help me. But, um... The Ubers, you know, of course, they don't have to help. Most of them aren't going to because it's they're like, you know, that's your problem. And I completely understand that because I'm not going to get out and do a whole bunch, especially while I'm working. And I just go and I hold this next to me and then it works. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I just got back from the post office. I need to get off my foot. Like I have a lot of orders that I need to get out, but honestly, 
getting better is more important. So I'm actually going to go ahead and release an announcement. Not that I'm closing down my boutique or anything like that, because honey, that ain't happening. But um, the orders, I'm gonna be, you know, basically what I do is a call, a roll call. A roll call with order numbers. I always announce what orders I'm working on throughout the week. That way people don't start emailing me, where's my order, all this. They go look at my social media. I post it on every single one of my pages. Poonani Box, Sugar Baby Kisses, Sugar Baby Hair, Sugar Baby Fitness, and Sugar Baby Poochie, and also my page. Um, those are all of my business pages. Sugar Baby Academy got taken down, but we'll talk about that later. I'm gonna restart it here soon. But um, I do roll call for the orders that I'm working on. That way ladies know that their order is getting worked on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I'm also going to let them know I won't be working on them today. I'm off Friday and Saturday, but I'm gonna go ahead and get off early. I'm gonna be off today, Friday and Saturday. And Saturday night, I'll start working on the orders again, mainly because I need to get off my foot. I'm on my foot. I can't do everything I need to do on crutches and with my wheelchair. I don't allow my wheelchair in here on my carpet because that wheelchair, I don't wear shoes in my house. And that will, and mainly because shoes are nasty. You know, we walk everywhere with them, touch all type of stuff with our feet on the floor. Same with my wheelchair. It rolls on the ground, touches everything. I take my dog out to go potty in it. So I can't roll that wheelchair around in here. And I'm just not going to do that. It's because it's disgusting. And my crutches, I can only do so much, you know, hopping around on it. Eventually, I have to walk on my foot, and I cannot keep doing that. Like, my foot is starting to really hurt. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and lay these out and do a little video for them. I'm going to just show you all how I do everything and just um, keep it pushing. have the orders I was going to work on here. So now I'm just going to lay them out and go ahead and make my little announcement. <sighs> so now I'm going to go ahead and get my other phone and make a little video. child when I say, oh, my booty looking a little, oh, my booty, go ahead. And I, I gotta work. I can't just not work. It's not even me. I couldn't just lay around the house because my foot broke. That don't even make sense. All right, now I'm gonna smoke some sweet. Oh, mm. I'm gonna relax for a little while. I need to relax and I need to do some treatments on my head. Because honey, I want the scar to go away. And I'm just start taking these braids out. I'm hey y'all, so I'm outside right now. I'm about to take down my braids because they're starting to get on my nerves and they're frizzy. And that's just me. I usually only stick with braids for a little while anyway because I like my wigs and my extensions. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this down. I did my own braids. If I would have went and got them done, they probably would have lasted longer because they would have been tighter. And I did mine a little loose, but it's okay. Anyway. Okay, so. All right, y'all. So this is how my hair looks out of the box braids. Excuse my forehead. I do have my cleanser on my forehead and my background. Honey, I still gotta clean my room. Like I cleaned everything up. It's just hard because, sorry, I got welches. But is it just hard to clean up because I can't clean up, move around in my crutches, hold something in my hand and have to hold the crutches. It's just really hard. So, I'm cleaning as I can, you know, it's just, uh, there's so much, it's difficult right now. I am about to run me some bath water, take a nice hot bubble bath. Well, I'm actually gonna get in the shower first cause I'm gonna nair, I'm gonna get all this hair off my body. So I'm gonna scrub it off in the shower and then I'm gonna jump in 
the bath. That way my bath water doesn't have all that nair in it and stuff like that. So yeah, honey, I'm gonna get that done. I'm gonna try to clean up my room. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. I'm checking in with y'all. I'm doing and feeling a whole lot better. I'm finally able to walk a little bit. I got my foot inside my Air Force Ones. Excuse all these boxes in the back. I had a lot of inventory come in and I was unboxing them and things like that. And then I just got some new inventory in also and I wanted to open it with y'all while I'm on camera. Today is a rainy day. I'm gonna show y'all hunty. I had my wig on and I took it off because it was just really getting on my nerves. And I'm gonna get my hair done, some chairs, you know, I put those there so they could get out of my way while I'm cleaning up and stuff. But let me show y'all, it is an ugly day outside. It is cold, obviously for my fur, you can't tell. But, let's see, yes, it is nasty outside. But yeah, so I'm about to unbox some inventory that came in. And then I'm also about to head to the USPS office because I have to drop off some orders. And then I have to come back and get some more orders ready. So yeah, honey, let me open this box and see what's in it. Shout out skin. My skin looks so good right now. I'm still working on getting rid of this little scar right here. It's gonna go away. I'm positive for that. But my skin looks really good. Teeth looking good, honey. Hair looking good. Everything's good. I've been drinking my water and taking my probiotics. You know, don't play with me. But let's get into this. So if you've been following me, then you already know that I have my own skincare line out. If you haven't and you're just now following me, my skincare line is called Poonanny Box. Poonanny Box is trademarked. And that is my money maker. That's where most of my income comes from, which is my skincare line. And um, yeah, so this is the bottles. I could already tell before I opened it up from the sound. But my skincare line is all organic and it is handmade. Oh, I guess you put them in here. What is this thing for? There's none in, nothing in here. So I ordered 200 bottles. Let me show y'all since you, if, if you haven't seen. I don't really like how they did that because that means they've been, they've been clanking. I don't like this. Why do they just throw them all in there like that with no protection around them? Oh, hell no. Because that means a lot of these bottles... Let me show you. So they did this side right. They're covered up like they should be. And then on this side, they just threw them in there, which I'm really confused why they would do that considering the fact that they are metal bottles. And you see that can happen. You can't really tell, but scratches, they're metal. I don't understand why they would just throw them in here like that knowing that this box is gonna be tossed around, I swear if there's a problem with any of these bottles, bro, I'm gonna fucking be like, I'm gonna be really upset. Like, why would you do this? I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture real quick. I'm kind of upset that they would even do that. It has me thinking something's wrong with these bottles on this side, but I'm gonna count them real quick and take some pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and count them on camera. Um, I'm gonna count them real quick. So, is there any down? Okay, so there's some at the bottom. There's nothing right here, which is confusing, but we'll see. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So, that's 50 here. And I'm actually going to take a picture with my other phone. Just because I'm not okay with this. Like, why would y'all just throw these bottles in here knowing that they're metal? I'm definitely going to make a comment about that. Yeah. I mean, my bottles are fabulous. One thing I upgraded, my toner used to be a little bit smaller. Like my toner was a 30 millimeter. This is a 50 millimeter. So my toner was a 30 millimeter, but I went ahead and decided to upgrade the toner. 
So the toner and the moisturizer are the same size. So these are my toner and my moisturizer bottles. And then I have my astringent bottles, my foaming cleansers and all that. But these are really pretty. They're really gold like I wanted them. Some don't come this gold. They're like 10 karat gold, but this is like 24K for me. But let me go ahead and count these bottles real quick. So this was 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So this is 50 bottles. I have no choice but to let them know about that because that's not okay. Like, I took the time to make my money and send it to y'all. You should at least take the time to wrap all of my products. Like, they just threw them in there, basically. That's what it looks like. See, this is what it should look like. Pretty. Absolutely no scratch. This has been, I mean, this is pretty too, but. I just really like for them to be wrapped because it lets me know like they have not been touched. see that bottle has a fucking scratch on it. Like, don't nobody want no scratches on their fucking bottle. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 one, two, three. Two, three. Four. Five. Six. I'm having a huge restock. Like, I'm selling what I have from my last inventory. I'm getting rid of all of it. And then once all that's gone, I'm going to relaunch Punani Box. I do a huge relaunch. Well, not a huge relaunch, a huge restock, sorry. <laughs> I'm doing a huge restock and I've added a few items to um, my skincare line. I don't understand why they just couldn't finish wrapping the rest of them like what y'all thought. Oh, it's just 10 of them. Let's just scratch those 10. And like the bags are right here. So it's like they put them in the bags and took them out. I don't fucking know. I got to go back and recount these. To make sure I count it right. I just really... It's not that big of a deal. But then again, it is... But we'll be all right. I always am. I remember one time somebody sent me bottles. There's a hole at the bottom of these. One time I ordered from a vendor and they sent me these bottles and the bottom of them was leaking. I sent videos and pictures and Alibaba still voted in their favor. I was like, what the fuck? Whatever.
I mean, it wasn't Alibaba. It was DHA. I fucking hate DHA. I will never shop with DHA ever again. All their stuff takes literally two, three, four months to get to you. Alibaba, honey, it's to you within... I ordered these, what, two weeks ago, maybe. It hasn't been long, like, at all. Since I ordered these. That's weird that they have all the bags in here. But they couldn't put them in the bags. It's like one of them just got tired and was like, fuck it. So there are 200 bottles in here. Thank you. Got that out the way. I'm going to put these bottles back where they should have been in the first place. And start getting ready for my restock. I'm going to focus on getting my orders out first. I'm already knocking them out. You already know me. I had like 30, but I always break mine up into increments of 10, which makes it easier for me and the customer. And then I announce my orders, so it puts everyone at ease. I mean, some people still be tripping, like a week is a long time to wait for a product. I guess, I guess some people, ooh, what the fuck? I guess some people think that they watch me on YouTube, so like they feel like, I'm accessible, you know, like they watch me on YouTube. So it's like, oh, you know, I just I bought, I shopped with her. So now I'm going to annoy her 24-7 about my product that I just ordered yesterday. And those type of clients, I don't deal with. I refund them. I send them on their way and I block them. And I blacklist them from ever shopping at my boutique again. Because I'm accessible to the point of you can watch me on Instagram and on YouTube and you see that I'm working. You see that people are leaving me good comments. Yeah, some people have had an issue. Everything is not perfect, but I'm not out here just scamming people or not giving people their product. I'm out here actually working and handling my business. So for anybody to sit there and get mad at me for having to wait a week for their product or even try to do a chargeback is ridiculous. I finally learned how to win my chargebacks. Like, all you need to do is have all your terms of service, your refund policy, your shipping policy, your business hours, and just proof that, you know, you are actually handling your business and you will win. Because I've been winning all my chargebacks lately. 
Because I handle my business, honey. And I check people, too, when they're wrong. My honey, you've been waiting. People would hit me up three days after they ordered. Like, where's my product? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, are you serious? But I finally have customer service in line. One of my friends is handling customer service for me which helps me out a lot now because I am not good with customer service all the time, which is okay, I'm getting better. I'm still a normal person, but I'm also learning how to run my business. But um, it's always good to have customer service on deck. I'm so happy all these bottles are gold like I like. I would have been so mad if they would have sent me 10 karat gold bottles. Now let me eat and get ready to go to the post office. Hey y'all, so I'm checking in with you guys. I'm headed to the USPS office right now to drop off some orders. And I just wanna kinda of show you how I do it. I have them some in here. Then I also have this here. And then I also put some in this bag here. And then I have some right here also. So yes, honey, as you can see, we are working. I got my Uber on the way. I'm about to go drop these off. Then I'm gonna come back and relax for a little bit and finish the rest of my day. <laughs> hey y'all, Head Sugar Baby checking in. It's your girl, Elijah. So I'm getting ready for my D appointment. And I was like, you know, let me check in with the ladies because, you know, I haven't been really, you know, I've been recording. You're going to see all that when I put everything together. But I don't really like, I just been chilling, you know what I mean? I just been getting my mind right, doing my thing, minding my business, getting my money, you know, all stacked up. And then just getting ready to get a new car. So I haven't really been recording, but I'm getting ready for my D appointment. So I decided to pull the camera out. And get ready y'all don't get ready with me i'm using my titanium straightener and l'oreal's sleek it heat protector oh yes honey i'm staying away from the weave for a little while and my hair re my hair has gotten so long by the way but so I'm not getting no new D. The person that's coming over, I've known him for a while. Y'all probably already know who I'm talking about anyway. <laughs> but, um, yeah, honey. I honestly haven't even been, like, doing anything. Like, I've been minding my own business. I don't really be having sex like that. Especially since I've been out the game and since I've been retired, I've really been like very picky about who I mess with because I don't even associate with men for free. So if I'm gonna associate with somebody, it has to be someone that's gonna benefit me in some type of way, relationship wise. Now, you know, I said before, I don't date, I don't have boyfriends, I have men. But, um, so any man that I'm looking for is somebody that's going to be beneficial to me in the long run, not just financially because I'm already good. But like I said, relationship wise, like, do they make a good man, a good man in my life? Because I'm not really on that square shit. I don't do that boyfriend stuff. I'm more so, you know, I'm a little bit more gangsta about it, but... Let me see 
Hey, honey, this is why I wear wigs, because I don't have to do my hair, so my hair be getting long, baby. Long and healthy. Uh, yeah. And because my foot's still a little messed up, I haven't been going out like that, you know. Wait, I think my chair is about to fall and I don't really know. Okay. But yes, honey, I've been minding my business, getting my money, drinking my water, skin looking good, hair looking good, money growing, everything is good. And I deserve some good D because I've been working. And I haven't had any, you know, I'm a must. Ooh, whoever get the chance, honey, they finna have a field day. All right, don't mind me. Oh my goodness, I cannot open this clip up to get it out of my hair. Oh. Yeah, I've just been working. Like, I don't really have much to talk about. I guess that's why I also haven't really been vlogging. I do have a couple try on hauls that I'm gonna do. Like, oh, and my license is suspended. I went up to go renew my license because I was getting ready to get a car. I decided to get a Jeep. I want a Rubicon Jeep. Rubicon, however you say it. Um, I want to get a red one. And I went up there to renew my license and I found out that my license was suspended. So I have to take a 15 hour drug course class, which isn't anything. I could do that in literally one day. It's an online class. No, Camila. No, no, baby. And then I have to, um, I have to mail in my certificate. And um, it takes up to 21 days to get a response. Stop! And then I have to pay a hundred dollar, I mean a hundred dollar reinstatement fee. Which I'm not working on any of that. Quit! Both of you, stop it. They're always trying to fight. <sighs> Bro. Whew, life is crazy. Probably gonna cut my ends tomorrow, trim them a little bit. But my dog's distracting me. I was talking about my car. So yeah, I found it was suspended. So you have to send them that hundred dollars. They're gonna reinstate it, and then I'll be able to get my license, which is cool because I'm really not tripping because my foot. I'm walking a whole lot better. Um, I'm finally walking a little bit more normal. I'll be walking normal here very soon. Um, so it's okay. I'm not really tripping. I'll wait because, you know, it'll give me time to completely heal up my foot. And, um, and not only that, um, I'll also be able to, which is this one? I don't like this one better on my hair. I feel like this titanium straightener I'm going to use on wigs only. I just don't want to burn my hair. This one's 410 and it works better anyway. Like that titanium straightener is amazing. But um, this Quan Air straightener here, I'm not sure if it's ceramic or what this is, to be honest, titanium or what. But the Quan Air one just works really good on my hair. And um, like it doesn't burn it it leaves it nice and silky and i just feel like the titanium one is an amazing straightener but better for wigs because it's burning off my i don't want it to burn i mean it's not it's not burning off my hair but i feel like it's just too much heat it's too much so i don't need all that my hair is already um my hair pattern is very soft so i don't need much heat on my hair
haven't drank water like really all day can you tell <laughs> but yeah once my license and everything comes in the mail that'll be cool it'll give me time to save up more stack up build my credit up some more and you know just get my shit together because i really don't need a car right now like my foot i can barely walk so i guess it's a good thing that that happened because i would have got a new car immediately if i could have I guess everything was straight with my license. I would immediately got a new car. For sure. Like, without a doubt, honey, I got the money. And don't y'all love my nails? Like, I finally found a nail tech that can do the length, the, the shape, the color, everything that I want. Like, she is amazing. They stay on. You feel me? They're not going to be sitting there coming off. A couple days later and shit like that so yeah i love her she's the shit i got some turmeric on my nail though so i'm gonna have to soak it a little bit but it'll come right off go camila i don't really allow my dogs in my room i want this to be my space I ride in here sometimes, but for the most part, none of them are allowed in my room. I gotta do a few things around the fucking house if I wanna have company. And I do wanna have company because I am trying to get some good. I need to get stretched out a little bit and then I'll be all right. I have an influence on everybody that comes around me. I swear, every time somebody come around me, they end up going to buy them some gold chains. I swear. I love it, though. I love having influence. It's a nice feeling. One thing about me though, I like never have a hard time finding a nigga. Never. Not a good, like a good nigga. Like I always come across them. It don't make no sense. There's a lot of good men out here with no kids, good jobs, their own house, nice things. Meaning, you know, they got their shit together. Nice bodies, good hygiene. Everybody just has their flaws and everybody ain't meant for everybody, you know? You gotta find who, who you're meant to be with. That's awesome. Like my husband, my future husband and the father of my children is gonna be an amazing man. I can just feel it in my bones. I would like to give a quick shout out to this fellow entrepreneur here. She has an all organic handmade scrub that you can use all over your body. Her and her mother have come out with it. You can check out the ingredients to this product on her website. Her website will be in my description box. You can click the link there and don't forget to let her know that Malaysia sent you. Bitch!